The ongoing federal corruption probe into Macomb County politics sending another elected official to prison. Today, former Chesterfield Township Supervisor Michael Lovelock sentenced to two years behind bars. Mara McDonald live at the federal courthouse tonight downtown and bribery seems to be at the center of so much of this case, Mara. Devin, absolutely, and Lovelock is admitting that he took thousands of dollars in bribes from trash titan Chuck Rizzo. In return, Rizzo would get favorable treatment of his contracts at Chesterfield Township. Lovelock admitting in court he did it because he had a gambling problem. The now former Chesterfield Township supervisor is just the latest domino to go down. Already, the U.S. Attorney's Office has indicted 20 people, including Chuck Rizzo and his father, Charles Rizzo Sr. Their machinations and cash started the ball rolling on this corruption probe. Both Rizzos are currently in prison. Dean Reynolds, a former Clinton Township trustee, was the first to be charged with more than a dozen counts of bribery. Reynolds didn't take a deal. Instead, going to trial where he lost, he's currently in prison. Macomb Township trustee Cliff Freitas, who was also a Rizzo employee, was busted for taking $45,000 in bribes. He's currently spending 20 months in prison. And then there is Dino Bucci. Mr. Bucci, is there anything you can say at this point? Bucci was the number two guy at Tony Morocco's Public Works Department, as well as a Macomb Township trustee. He holds the dubious honor of having the most charges leveled against him by the feds. Since his indictment, Bucci hasn't shown up for any township board meetings. Last night, he tried to retire by letter. Instead, the board recognized it as a resignation. He's looking at charges of bribery, extortion, money laundering, fraud, and theft. So far, no plea deal. He's heading to trial in January. Back here live, and let's not forget the New Haven Township trustees. Brett Harris and Christopher Craig Miles also busted for bribery, not connected to, Re to Rizzo, but to Dean Reynolds. Both of them also heading to prison. We are live downtown tonight at the federal courthouse. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. Uh, Mara, I think I have asked you uh, this question after each chapter of this long running odyssey. Now, do we think there is still more to come? Devin, we do think there is still more to come. As you well know, um, this probe has now expanded well beyond Macomb. Yep. It's in Wayne County. But I will tell you this chatter from insiders in Macomb is they think there are more Macomb indictments to come as well. Yeah. Back All right, to you. Mara, we'll stay on it.